Hello, people of the internet. So today, I have for you, you, another injection tutorial video. Yay! But today, we've moved up to the big wings, and we've got ourselves some Humera. You guessed that, right? Humera at a Lumi map. The one with the super awesome commercials about old men with arthritis. So exciting, right? Well, guess what? I take that medicine. And since you're watching this video, you probably do too. So I made this video basically for the same reason as my Recibo video. Uh, I looked up on YouTube and Google and other places on how to do your own Recibo, Recibo. Humera, too many medical names, I, I just can't keep them straight. To how to do your own Humera syringe injection. And I wanted one for kids because I'm a kid and kids are cool. And frankly, I think they're more interesting than, you know, old people who don't actually take your medicine showing you how to do it on like a fake body part. Like that's just, that's just creepy, like just, just don't do that. But um, anyway, so I was like, why not just make my own video? So here's my video, I hope you like it. I know in my Recibo tutorial video, I had like different clips with all the different um, steps and materials and whatever that I was going to do, but when I made that video, I almost killed the computer, so we're not going to do that again, and you're just going to have to stick with me doing this one long clip thing that just hopefully turns out okay, because I do not want to do this again, and this medicine cannot get warm, so we're on a time crunch, people. Let's start. All right. Before I stab myself with my wonderful Humera, we're going to talk about the materials. Yay! So, you're going to need some hand sanitizer and some alcohol pads. One or two is probably fine, but if you're like me and you drop it on the floor before you've actually cleaned your leg with it, then you probably need to. Then you're going to need some actual Humera. So it comes in this like cool box at the front, you like open it on this thing. Here we have it, our secret weapon. And then, of course, you're gonna need a biohazard box because you don't just throw this thing in the corner. That will not end up. And then we need a paper towel because things are gonna get messy. Not really, but it sounds cool. All right, so step one would be to wash your hands with soap and water. But I'm not going to do that because, once again, I'm filming this entire video in one clip and I am not moving that camera from where it is. So, uh, step two would be to sanitize your hands. And yes, it is definitely overkill, but that sucks because you're doing it anyways. I am very thorough with the hand sanitizer. Alright. Our third step will be to clean our leg with the alcohol pad. So we're going to open it up, we're going to take it out, and I will, I guess, how, how am I supposed to show you? Okay. Take it out here. We're going to show you my entire film We're going to wipe it on our leg like this. Yay. Clean the whole thing. I know. I know you're only doing it in one tiny dot, but you know, you want to have options for yourself. So just just clean the entire leg. It, it can't, it can't. Alright, now that you have that awesome view of my leg from above, we're going to open up our secret weapon, the Humera. So it comes, I have the syringe kind, that's what this video is. So if you use the pen, I'm sorry, you probably want to stop watching. But basically, you're going to take it, comes in like a little pack like this, it has like a flap on the back. So we're going to pull the flap back, I'm going to take out your beautiful medicine, and you keep this in the fridge, so normally it's cold when you take it out, it is cold, which means I haven't killed it yet, but i got to hurry up. So, this looks weird, but I like to warm it up kind of, because then you don't feel it as much when it goes in, so I know it looks like I'm just like awkwardly twirling my needle right here, but you got to do what you got to do. Alright, so once you're done, you know, awkwardly twirling your little syringe thingy, you're going to see this cap right here. It's called a cap, and you're going to pull it off. I hate pulling off caps off of needles, like, I don't care about putting them in me, it's pulling off the cap, I just, I can't do it, but I did it, so, yeah. If I can do it, you can do it. Alright, now, I'm going to show you up close. 
you're gonna there's a little air bubble like right there there's like a little space there and so you're just gonna push the plunger up while watching the air bubble because you don't want to squirt this across the room because that is just no don't do that just just don't do that so I don't know if you can see you should be able to but you're just gonna squirt all the way up until you see like one teeny tiny drop at the top there I don't know if you can see it see that tiny drop and then I like to joke because this medicine is ridiculously expensive because it has all that fancy science in it. I like to joke that every drop is like worth a certain amount so I like look at it and like ooh that's 50 bucks, ooh that's 20 bucks, ooh. See like like that tiny dot right there like that's 20 bucks right there. Like, I could have. I could just harvest that and sell it on the black market and bam I have 20 bucks. Not really, don't do that. You should actually take your medicine the right way so anyways now I am going to show you how I do my injection but of course like I said in my receiver video I do not have three arms but luckily I have a professional camera woman aka my mom who would love to film me stabbing myself with this amazing little thing right here so I'm going to insert one clip of that and then I will do a little after stabbing recap thing and I will see you all in the stab zone Alright, so I'm going to squeeze my leg, um, take my syringe, and then very slowly push the needle under the skin. Um, I go really slow with this, so sorry, you kind of have to watch the whole thing, because um, I think it hurts a little bit less, and I just like to have more control over what I'm doing, which is why I do prefer the syringe over the pen. But anyways, I am now pushing the red plunger down into the syringe as the medicine goes inside of my leg and you just get to, you know, chill out and watch me do this. So, still going. Still going. Alright, I take a lot longer than I thought it did, so I might need to speed it up. Although, I guess if it works, you know. Anyway, so we're still going. Still going. Alright, so then it looks like all the medicine is out of the syringe. You want to make sure it's all out before you take it off because that would be bad. Um, so now I'm just gonna pull it off of my leg anytime now. There we go. And we're done. Alright, so I hope that kind of clarified how to actually do the injection. And I hope that my professional camera woman did not make you too dizzy. She is notorious for turning cameras in circles and going this way. Okay, over here. Okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I think she got a pretty good angle, so. Well, I guess we'll just find out. Um, anyways. After you put the Humera, well, if you put that into your body and it's all the way in and you've taken your medicine like an awesome person, you're going to take your empty used little syringe thingy. And then you're going to take your cap and you're going to put that cap right on that syringe thingy. And you're going to take your biohazard snazzy box right here, chuck it in, make sure the lid is on and put it to the side or wherever you keep it. I wouldn't just like keep that in the middle of your house, but if, if you want to do that, then you can do that. And then you're just going to clean up all your materials. I've got a mess over here because I'm good at making messes. So you're just going to gather them up. Um, most Humera boxes do come with two shots inside. So once you take off the one you're going to use, you should really put that box back in the fridge because it needs to stay um, they need the shots can't have light um, on them so they need to stay inside the box and then inside a refrigerator so that they stay cold so once you take yours out just pop that thing right back in the fridge or if it's empty like mine and you like to collect medical pamphlets you've got three free ones right here um, if you like to collect medical boxes you've got one free one right here but typically it's not free but mm, I don't know um, so you can either recycle all that or save it if you want to save it. Um, I don't know what people do, so I'm gonna recycle mine because I got a new one like in two weeks. So like I don't need this one. Um, and um, I guess that's all. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any suggestions or comments, please comment them below. Um, I would love it if you subscribed to my channel so that I could spread more IBD awareness and make more of these awesome videos because, you know, who doesn't like watching tutorials on how to stab yourself with some crazy science medicine? Isn't it fun? 
Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon.